Is drama queen Rachel Gilmore of Global News the dumbest journalist in Canada or the worst journalist in Canada? Or maybe it's a blend of both. After all, can you imagine insinuating that Armed Forces veteran and freedom fighter James Topp is a white supremacist and an extremist? What a malicious dolt this fake news huckster is to imply that Top is a threat to society as opposed to somebody that is standing up to a government that seems to rejoice in stripping us of our rights and freedoms. And with more on this story is our Vancouver-based reporter, and that would be Drea Humphrey. Hey, Drea, how are you doing there? I'm good. I'm glad I'm not on your journalistic bad side. James. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep journalism. that in mind. No, no, yeah. I call him as I see him, and and you're as good as gold, Drea. But you know, Drea, I hope Mr. Top's case is heard sooner rather than later, given that Global News is allegedly on the brink of bankruptcy as they lobby the government for yet more taxpayer-funded bailouts. That tells me that the vast majority of Canadians aren't buying what global woke news is selling, thank God. But this hit piece by Rachel Crymore is beyond the pale. What do you think her motivation was in terms of defaming James Top in such a fashion? Well, only she can speak to her motivation, but I did notice that she did two articles that were sort of focused on MP Pierre Polyev, who, of course, was campaigning yeah. for the leadership of the race. So I, if I had to guess, I would think the point was to, you know, sort of vilify him by association. But boy, did she pick the wrong person to do that with <laughs> when you pick James Top, yeah. you know, one of the Canada's freedom heroes. He is the perfect example if you want to start some sort of movement for human rights of how to do so peacefully. The man has just been walking across the country through all um, types of weather since February, first in British Columbia, and he's been doing so pe peacefully and people have been so inspired and encouraged. And here he is, um, you know, being put in articles without being reached out to ones that could make people believe he's a white supremacist simply for standing for the freedoms that so many millions of Canadians want to have back. You know, well said, Drea. And I will say this. While vilifying an armed forces veteran like James Top is beyond the pale, and there's no evidence to support their conclusions that he's a white supremacist nor an extremist, I do understand the motivation in terms of vilifying and demonizing Pierre Polyev because should he become our next prime minister, yeah. there's a new sheriff in town <laughs> and there, the mainstream media and the CBC, those billions of dollars in taxpayer subsidies. They're going the way of the uh, dinosaur. So Global News and all the other lamestream media outlets, they have a very good motivation to tear down Pierre Polyev. They don't want to see regime change end. And, uh, sorry, regime change occur, uh, rather, Drea, because that means uh, their paychecks end. Your thoughts? Well, you know, I think the legacy media over the last two years has gotten away with vilifying buying freedom people and giving them labels, uh, you know, maybe headed by our prime minister, you know, making them look racist and things like that. And I think that's worked for a long time. I think, like I said, Top was sort of an afterthought for a different mission. But boy, did it backfire because he lawyered up and uh, he got a really good lawyer at from Relaw out in your your neck of the woods and they said you know what we think you have a case here and global news has 30 days well had 30 days of course time has passed to respond from that but you can see that they went ahead in that article um and already have done sort of um a retraction to point out that none of the names in this article are in fact uh, we're not saying they're white supremacists. So already a little bit of an action there, but I'd say that's a little too late. Many people have already seen that article. Less are going back to look at it unless they are following the reports that are covering this horrendous form of journalism. 
Hey folks, that was an excerpt from my show, Rebel Roundup. Now, to get the full meal deal, why not go to Rebel News Plus, sign up, and never miss a Rebel News Plus show in the future.